Well, Dr. Funmi Olonisakin from the African Leadership Center at King's College here in London believes radical changes are needed to government strategy across the continent. I began by asking her where governments should start. We're not winning the war for a whole range of reasons. I think first, we're dealing with a new set of issues and problems with old ideas, uh, old agendas. The complete use of force, which actually is not the way to deal with the situation in northern Nigeria at the time, uh, at this particular moment in time. And when you, when you look at the regional consequences, you see that this situation will probably get worse and not better. Because you're talking about groups that are well connected to global networks. You're talking about groups that have clear ideas about what they want to do. You're also talking about groups that have disconnected themselves from any kind of political actors or interests at this point in time. But it's not only West Africa that has experienced such militant attacks. East Africa, Uganda has been hit. Kenya also experienced one of its worst attacks in September. What should they be doing now to secure themselves? It's not about our borders anymore. It's not about, you know, traditional military units trying to quell attacks, which is what we have seen in the past. Perhaps there's a pos positive security side to what happened in Westgate. For the first time, the security of the ordinary African and the security of its elite, as well as perhaps the security of the international community was threatened at once. And that's the first time, that's one of the first times that it's happened in that way. If it happens two more times, which Kenya can ill afford, we'll begin to think differently about security in the region. How different are the agendas for these militant Islamist groups that operate within the continent? Boko Haram faces uh, Nigeria squarely, even if it has regional interests and networks. In the Sahel, the same thing. Uh, in uh, East Africa, Eastern Africa, Shabab, the same thing. Even if the narratives are similar in terms of the religious dimension to it, the interests are very local, very regional. Had those interests been very much connected, I think Africa would be in trouble. What role do you see the international community playing with regard to security issues on the continent? States, whether they're helping Africa or helping their own interests, will first and foremost act on the basis of their interests. Sometimes those interests are collective, sometimes the interests are, are you know, individual state interests, as we can see with France or the EU or whoever is acting in Sahel, for example. I think we have to rethink these realities and they will have to quickly align themselves behind whatever narrative is shaping up on the continent. But I think certainly in the next year, Africa is in for some really tough times.